What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a sprite and a tier lemon punk danger replay, but I would also like to thank everyone for getting me to 100 subscribers. I started this channel from the ground up, and now I've started the process of making an army. In the future, I would like to do giveaways, but I've decided that I'm going to put them on hold for now, because I do feel I want to give more people the chance to win them, and some of my videos don't get many views in the first place until days later and stuff like that, so I just felt it was smarter to wait until later. But anyways, before if you happen to enjoy content like this, Clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons would be greatly appreciated as it goes a long way in supporting the channel and shows me that you like content like this. So to begin, we'll see that the sprite player is going to go first as he's going to start making his board and I know that we have a bang in the near future, at least presumably. And one of the cards that we've had talked about are emergency teleport to be limited as we see another one here with Mystic Mine that a lot of people want to see banned, but there's another card that I actually wanted to bring up in this video, and I'm sorry if this video is not pure commentary on the replay, but because I feel we're so close to a ban list, I just wanted to get some closing thoughts out. So, the card in mind I had was Instant Fusion, and I feel like Instant Fusion just having the ability to get you Kit Kalos and get you into your tier plays while also potentially being a mil 8 as we see this punk version already has a mil 5 through the chaos ruler excavate 5 and all of that milling just lets you cycle through your deck so easily which with all the candidates to get hit make you wonder if we'll actually get a big list with that being said i don't think that the top decks here should be hit too hard by the ban list. I don't think that it's a terrible format whatsoever, but it's become obvious that there are a good amount of problem cards that need to be taken care of in order to make the game healthier, and I would like to see the tier deck become a little less sacky, because even if maneuvering your plays takes skill, it can be damaging for your opponent to kind of just get unlucky in a late round of a tournament and then just lose off broken mills, but I don't want to jump too much into that as I don't think we're quite at the point where tears will get hit. Like I said, one hit that I could potentially see it's maybe the instant fusion for the kick Kalos because that's just a slap on the wrist. As for Sprite, I could totally see Konami doing something crazy like a Limit Toad, because I know some Sprite players play two Toads, even though the correct and optimal way is to play one, but we've seen hits like that before with Halkto one, along with Shooting Riser and stuff like that, so I only bring it up because I just don't think that they will really be hit, at least too hard as far as the decks go, as we see the Zeomen get Special Summon back by the your note with the excavation of the five from the chaos ruler which will add the haveness and then we'll see the halk which is just another card that is a major candidate to get hit i think that this card does a little bit too much for too many decks and we're going to see the kick kalos mil five here as that's just a total of about 10 mils off the kick kalos and the chaos ruler alone and I also think he had the Sharon Mills, which is another three more. That's 13, which is just insane. As we see the Baron come down, the Sprite player takes no damage because of the Dark Ruler. And we're going to see the Toad get its effect, which will add back the Swap Frog. And uh, I feel like the Sprite player still has control here, because even though we're probably going to see a Redoer come down with Sharon and the Snow... The Sprite player has Dark Ruler, the Mine, I don't think that the Soliac is enough. The Talent top deck is just another big top deck as you can deal with anything that comes after this Redoer effect. So we'll see that the Sharon is going to get its effect, which will fuse away both monsters here into Kikalos. Kikalos will use its effect, which will 
be sending a tier name and we'll see the Merli use its effect to fusion out the window and from here we'll probably see a Talon's activation to steal the window and uh, that's exactly what happens as we see the change of heart attempt to take the Kikalos as we see the chain of the Soliac. We'll then see the Kick Kalos mill another five as that's just what we're good at. As we see the Sharon B was milled, which is unfortunate as it was what was detached off the redoer. And we'll also see that the sprite player is going to activate the Mystic Mind and bring out his frogs, go into the gigantic sprite here. And then uh, link those two away into Beat Cop. Beat Cop can use its effect to protect the mine. And from here we'll see a top deck Rhino Heart. And uh, the player in blue mentions that the Redor should be back, which that's also true. And we'll see that the player in red is going to admit defeat here. So the last card I want to talk about in this video is Called by the Grave. And I guess Super Poly also. I know a lot of people have been looking at Super Poly as a candidate to get hit because of how generic Garura is. I think that Super Poly is really good, but I don't quite think it's good enough to get hit because of just how big some of these boards are. I think it's kind of like a necessary evil Sprite Red and uh, Sprite Elf both being fires and thunders that you can use in order to make your Garura is an important interaction of the format in my opinion as it kind of gives tiers the edge at something while also making sprites the more consistent decks overall. But as you probably saw as I was hovering in the graveyard here, the Beat Cop actually protects the mine from the Galaxy Cyclone in the graveyard, which is one of those things that will lead me to believe that mine could be hit. There's been points previously in the game before with certain cards. I can't recall any of it. There's been times before a ban list where a card is becoming so problematic where we see builds start to cater towards that specific card. And recently we've been seeing that with B-Cop here, we've seen that with Demise of the Land, Trap Trick, Metaverse, and different archetypes that can take advantage of having a backbone like that. The newest one with Mr. Runes, which was just released with Tactical Masters. But those are just some of the thoughts I had. But anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I thank you for watching and I appreciate your time. And I want to thank everyone again for the 100 subscribers. This is a huge milestone that I have been trying to hit for a long time now. As you can see, I've been doing this for about six months. And when I started with Master Dolls, that wasn't necessarily going well and I felt like the TCG needed more TCG exclusive YouTubers because a lot of YouTubers like NBT, Distant Coder, and Farfa have kind of just regulated to Master Duels and we're not seeing as much content on the TCG anymore so I want to help fill that gap and getting to 100 subscribers feels like a big milestone to get there. But anyways, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching, it's Bones, signing out.